I'm David Newman. I'm a painter. I've been drawing all my life. I'm a technologist and I do Macintosh support. I've been working with computers since 1982. Before that, I studied art at UC Davis and UC Berkeley in California. And I was a courtroom artist for United Press. So I would go to the big trials and draw uh, portraits and uh, images that I would see in the courtroom because cameras were not permitted. And in many cases, they're still not permitted. Well, at the time I was using black ink on white paper. That was the right tool for the job. And moving from courtroom drawing to drawing people in cafes, and restaurants, and out in the world, I found that the Pentel brush pen was the right tool for the job. This was it. Before the iPad, it's a brush with black ink inside. Uh, I started to add color to my work using the Swiss fancy crayons. These are Caran d'Ache crayons, and I love them. I've been starting to use the iPad since it came out in 2010, and since then I've painted about 160 portraits, mostly of people in high technology. When I'm painting someone, I pay attention really to their overall physical presence of how they're sitting, what they're feeling, what they're doing, and what they're engaged with. They might be reading, they might be working on their computer, they might be um, just relaxing. And what I try to do is make it so that that person has gravity and not just physical gravity that the earth attaches us to itself with, but their own gravity, their own uh, presence of their own selves. When I start a new painting, I start from scratch with a completely blank canvas. And I start out by picking the color that I want and picking the tool that I want and uh, starting to make marks. And I always start in an improvisational mode. And I like randomness. I like to have a kind of a, a feeling of unpredictability. Then images are revealed as I work. And sometimes as I'm working, I might see a little bit of Matisse. I might see a little bit of Picasso or David Hockney. And then I just work with it and then get a more precise brush. And I can adjust the sizing like this with a couple of fingers. And now I go to work. It's not really work, it is play. The main feeling about using the iPad is that it gives me complete power over color, texture, form, uh, over improvisational feeling, and I can do it in a way that is not going to spill, and it's not going to have odors, and I can do many, many, many expressions and make lots of changes and come up with something that's just as compelling as if I did it with traditional tools. I do try to incorporate my mistakes when I'm painting. And sometimes the mistakes are the best part because they lead into the unknown. And I don't care about perfection because perfection is kind of boring in my opinion. I will include what's around the person or what the person is working with or involved with in an improvisational sense. That is to say, if the background is compelling, I'll draw a little bit of the background. If they're reading a book, I will draw the book. Uh, but it is based entirely on what I feel. I like to have uh, things that are a little bit comedic, a little bit silly, because it, it takes away from the seriousness of the portrait and makes it more fun. It should be fun for the artist and also fun for the eye to look at. My professor, Joan Brown, who taught at UC Berkeley for many years, said something to the effect of, forget about making a masterpiece. Don't waste your time. Every day, draw or paint something that's right in front of you. Do portraits at home. Paint your father, paint your mother, paint your brothers, your sisters. Look in the mirror, paint yourselves. Draw whatever is in front of you that day. And then after one full year, you will know how to draw. So painters of tomorrow, have fun.